right, um, this is Lance again, and this is the day after, um, after the kayaking trip. Looking at the maps and trying to get a better idea of perspective on exactly what we accomplished. Um, looking at the map itself, a uh, climb line uh, is the pond, right? And so we launched uh, just east of, there's a little bridge, a pathway that goes into climb line pond itself. So we launched just east of that, and I mean, by just east, it was probably maybe 50 feet, 50 to 100 at the most, but right in that, um, the, the Salmon Creek stream right there. And in order to get into Klein Line Pond, you actually cross over the Salmon Creek itself. So that's that little uh, bridge that you cross over. And uh, the, the place, let's see, there's a lot of vegetation. I mean, and that's mainly where the rapids were around was the vegetated areas. And so going in and around the curves of into Salmon Creek Park, the forested areas, that's where all the snags were. Uh, and, of course, that makes sense because all the large logs um, that were, you know, falling over were in the stream. And they didn't seem to be uh, too... Well, they seemed to have been fairly new. And by fairly new, I mean maybe, you know, within the last 10 15 years or something, definitely not. Those logs have not been in the stream for the past, you know, 100 years or so. There's definitely been some uh, some some newer development uh, by the logs being there. But, yeah, the first um, probably maybe mile or mile and a half, uh, probably mile of the, the, the weaving curves is, is a lot of uh, shallow, fast-moving, um, you know, rapid-ish action. And uh, definitely a lot, I mean, it's, it, it was a lot of fun, to be honest. That was the funnest part of, of kayaking, was going through those little rapids. And, and great for beginners. I think that it's, uh, I mean, I, I like to, I am a beginner. I'm not, I don't like to think of myself as a beginner. I am a beginner. So, I mean, it, it probably would make sense if someone wanted to go into kayak this for the first time to maybe maybe take your kayak into the Klein Line Pond itself and really kind of master some, you know, some sort of strokes and whatever instead of just throwing yourself into these rapids. But, I mean, if you have a pretty good sense of the basics of, of strokes and that sort of thing and, and not to, you know, not to tip when you get uh, panicky, then that's that's what you need. That's what you got to have. So, um so anyway, going through, and then once we got to, I'd say, let's see, oh, it's a good ways away from the ball fields, it looks like. It was hard yesterday because we really didn't know uh, exactly where we were because we were seeing people, uh, you know, we'd get through this place, we'd get through areas where there was absolutely no um, no people around and very vegetated, and then we'd come back, and we'd weave our way back, and we'd see another trail. So we were constantly questioning ourselves as to whether or not we were within the park or not, but I think we were uh, actually, especially from the timestamps of the, the audio diary, I think uh, we were out of the park a lot, basically the time that we thought we were because um, the pathway that went along, that, that Salmon Creek Greenway path that goes along, and I, we were seeing a lot of people on that. So, so naturally, now Salmon Creek, after we got out of the vegetated areas, after about a mile or a mile, a mile and a quarter or something like that, uh, it comes into flatlands, and these, this flatland is uh, you know, at the bottom of you know, a valley, right? There's some sort of a natural depression here, which is what the Salmon Creek uh, runs in. And it's, it was, this is where the, uh, the Salmon Creek became a lot less shallow. It was deeper, I mean, you know, relatively speaking, but it was deeper. Um, no, no snags to speak of, no rapids to speak of. Uh, the, um, the grassland, basically it was, it was grassland, would come basically almost directly into the Salmon Creek itself. And uh, highly, I, it seemed like it was highly eroded um, going right into the Salmon Creek because you could look and there was maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe four to five feet uh, from, the, from the water level. Up of soil, and you can see, um, you know, if it wasn't if it wasn't uh, like kind of swamp grass, it was. You can see the really rich brown um, of the soil itself, and then on top of that was a layer of, of very very green grass. So it seemed, um, and I'm not sure. I, I'm not an expert on on erosion or that sort of thing, but it seemed that uh, the the soil to be able to see that soil was kind of. Uh, it spoke to a level of erosion there that um, maybe maybe it's just because it's been winter and I don't know but um, but yeah so that's that's what this uh, the next basically the last uh, two miles or one and a half miles of, of you know paddling was is paddling through relatively calm um, area here on the Salmon Creek and then yeah we ended up getting off 
at uh, 501. That is where we, we pulled in. It's actually very convenient. Uh, if you're kayaking from Salmon or from Klein Line and you go straight through there, there's a little inlet that you can take it on the, let's see, it would be the north side. So if you're going down the stream, it'd be on the right. And you just pull off there, and there is uh, there are some steps that someone made out of uh, railroad ties, which is kind of nice, I guess. And those go all the way up to the main road. So if uh, if you're looking at logistically kayaking the uh, the Salmon Creek from Klein Line to 501, uh, and spending and, and probably I mean spending a couple hours doing it, it took us two and a half hours to do it. But we were, um, we, when we got to the slower moving current uh, towards the, the second half of the journey, uh, it really wasn't, um, we, we weren't on a hurry really to get there. We, we paddled a little bit, but uh, we really weren't going that fast. So if you really were in a, in a hurry to get this done, I would imagine that, and you were in great shape probably, which is another thing I'm not, um, you would probably be able to get this done in maybe maybe an hour and a half to two hours. I would say an hour and a half is really probably pushing it because you have to get out of uh, the canoe several times or the kayak several times to uh, you know alleviate those snags that are in the um, in the middle of the uh, stream. And then there, of course, there are some branching areas of the Salmon Creek that we didn't explore that uh, they probably didn't go very far, but you know different branches within the stream that uh, led to little, you know, little pools of water and little, um, you know, um, stagnant areas. And, yeah, I mean, they're kind of cool, a lot of wildlife, of course, around those areas, but uh, we really didn't have the, uh, the time nor the energy, I don't think, to, to really get into those. So, so absolutely one of the, the coolest little kayaking journeys, I mean, especially if, if for a beginner and, and if for it to be so relatively close, I mean, it, it's right in town, really. Um, for someone to drop you off uh, at Klein Line with your kayaks or kayak and um, and take the, the parking, the, they're going down and parking next to 501, which again is free. I, I believe parking on 501 is free. Parking in Klein Line won't be free um, once they start uh, posting lifeguards. That's what Genevieve said, and I think she's right. Uh, because they, they, there were no lifeguards there uh, when we were, you know, jumping in on sa Sunday, even though it was almost 80 degrees. So they have a specific season for that, and they, um, you know, that, that's just basically how it is. But looking at the Google map, um, after 501, if you were to get, were to continue down to Vancouver Lake, there are, it's, it's a lot more um, vegetated, it looks like, and there's quite a few shallow, it looks like some, some gravel and some shallow uh, parts uh, right on the other side of the bridge, uh, meandering and it's meandering around and around and around. But it would only be about another mile until uh, it looks like it connects in with Lake River. And once it connects into Lake River, that's really, I mean, then the, the stream widens significantly. And, I mean, you get down and there's houseboats, so you know it's relatively deep. And then, of course, um, it's only about another mile until you get to Vancouver Lake, which is uh, pretty huge. Yeah, I've never actually been um, into Vancouver Lake, but um, but I've you know driven by it and seen it quite a, quite a few times. So so that's uh, that's this kayaking journey and um, kind of some afterthoughts about it. And it's very doable. It's very uh, I don't know. It's one of those under uh, underrated or underappreciated gems, I think, in in Clark County. So this is Lance saying, go do it. Go kayak it and go enjoy it. All right. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed this little adventure.